When we talk about sound in PTE AV Studio, we're talking about music, commentary and sound effects that can be introduced into our presentation in separate tracks. Sound files can be dragged from the file list into the slide list. Now this panel appears automatically when we do that in the slide list and we can just click OK. In the timeline window we can also drag sound files from the file list and they can be dragged into any position at all. Now let's go on and I'm going to select three pieces of music to add to this one. What we now have is four tracks. Each of those tracks is independent regarding the position on the timeline and also the volume via that orange line. At any time we can remove sound files by highlight and delete or we can drag the file back into the file list. No sound files are actually deleted from the computer. We still have them safe in the file list here. Now I'd like to do much the same again but this time I'm going to use the slightly shorter commentary sound files. I'm going to drag number one down. I'm going to drag number two down but you'll notice that I'm dragging them down into the same track. The difference here is that all of the commentary sound files occupy just one track. So if I right click and delete the track, all four commentaries will be removed, simply because we've deleted the track and not an individual sound file. To remove just one of them, highlight and delete or drag it back into the file list. Multi-track sound editing means we can mix the volumes of music, commentary and sound effects seamlessly together using these blue audio key points and those sound files will play simultaneously. Sound files placed on one track as we did a few moments ago with those four pieces of commentary will play one after the other. We can add and remove as many of these blue audio points as we require. Right clicking on any one of them will remove them. We can remove them all by right clicking the WAV file, but if I wanted to fade in the music at the start here, I can just click to position a blue audio point, another one where I want the music back to full volume, and then I can simply drag that down. And now we've got the music fading in to that point. Now let's talk through what we have here. I have one piece of music which is occupying track one. Where I've added my first commentary on track two, you'll notice I've increased the volume of my voice to better balance with the volume of the music. I've also used four audio key points to drop the volume of the music so that the music and the commentary sound nicely balanced in volume. Sometimes that may require a slight reduction in the music volume as well, but let your ears be the guide. To demonstrate the flexibility of multi-tracking, my second piece of commentary is running simultaneously with the Bowerbird sound effect. It includes the same four audio key points to allow the volume balance between the three tracks, music, commentary and effects. Here is a common problem whenever we're dealing with music in a presentation like this. The music here is far too long. To put that right, move your cursor to the end of the WAV file Click and drag it back to where you want it to end. I would suggest just before that peak. We can then put a audio key point wherever we want it there and there and we can fade 
the music out and we could even match the transition of the fade to black with the music. We can split any waveform by first placing the cursor where you want to cut, right clicking and selecting split audio clip. It is possible to export your entire sound file all mixed down into one MP3 or WAV file here. To join two pieces of music, place both of them on the same track, then drag one of them to overlap the other. This is called crossfade. Thanks for watching.